Mercedes-Benz blames owner neglect for the mold growing inside a vehicle in Clayton County. The car company is facing a class action lawsuit alleging the AC in millions of Mercedes spews moldy air at passengers. Consumer investigator Jim Strickland is live in Clayton County. And Jim, the owner discovered the mold, then he discovered something else. Yeah, that's right. The lawyers for that class action want to examine this Mercedes CLS 500, but until they do, even they admit they can't make any positive link between all the mold that's growing in here and any potential defect with mold spores in the air conditioning unit. However, the owner says he's already convinced because of what he didn't see in the trunk. I don't feel like this is supposed to be. The car performed real well, but Mercedes need to take responsibility for what's going on with these because the air condition had to smell mold smell. Charles Fluker says he parked his vehicle for months following back surgery. He couldn't drive. He discovered a moldy mess after not seeing the car's interior for eight months. He did see my story Monday about a lawsuit blaming Mercedes air conditioning for mold spores pouring into the cars. It brought back some sensitivity about what was going on with mine. Fluker's convinced the AC is the source of the spores invading his car. Here's why. You can look in the trunk. It's no mold in the trunk. The trunk has never been exposed to air conditioning, and it's free of mold. Under the hood, no AC and no visible mold there either. No water in the vehicle, nothing in the floorboard. So it got to be from the air condition. Mercedes says the mold appears to be from neglect while the car was parked. They deny any defect with the AC. A spokesperson did not respond to questions about how the trunk could be mold free. Fluker just wants to be able to drive in it. That's my baby. Now, Mercedes has asked a federal judge in Atlanta to dismiss that class action lawsuit. They've cited several legal grounds for that request to dismiss the suit. There is no timetable for a judge to make the decision. Reporting live in Clayton County, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.